Hi, it's the Brook Without Gratitude guy. Rainy Days and Mondays. That was the name of a song came out years ago. I think it was the Carpenters. And they talked about, uh, you know, how things when days were tough and it was rainy days and Mondays were tough days and so forth. And the reason I bring it up today is because a lot of people ask me during my presentations, I'm blessed enough to do a couple of presentations a week on gratitude and the gratitude journal. And well, how do you get through depression? How do you get through tough times? How do you get through, uh, if you will, rainy days and Mondays? Well, as you might expect, my standard answer is going to be gratitude and specifically a gratitude journal. One of the things I talk about is that there's so many negative coping mechanisms. Life is difficult. There are going to be rainy days and Mondays. There's going to be tough times. There's going to be highs. And unfortunately, there's going to be lows. But just remember, when you have a gratitude attitude, when you have a gratitude journal, how much that'll help mitigate those types of feelings that can come across your mind. I always talk about the number 1 to 10 in the gratitude journal and assign yourself a daily number. 10 being the best day, 1 being maybe a very tough day, if not the toughest. And where that kind of you number, or where you are, if you will, or rate yourself for that day. But no matter what happens, if whatever number you are, when you wake up, when you're dealing with something tough, you write in that gratitude journal, I'll guarantee you you're going to bump up two or three numbers because you're going to sit and focus on, I'm so grateful for my health, my family, my friends, my house, my job, people and things in my life that have helped me, whatever it might be. So the next day you're dealing with a rainy days and Mondays, just remember, grab that gratitude journal, write in it, you'll see a huge difference. That's the message for today. Have a grateful day. We'll see you tomorrow.